arrived at the base of Sale Fell, back in the North West Lake District again. I'm, uh, the plan for today is to head up to the top of the fell, uh, come back down and then head over to Ling Fell in the other direction. Two fairly small fells for today, but um, hopefully out the way, quiet. We will have a nice walk, get some shots and have a relax. So let's head up the fell, see what it's like. See you in a bit. Well, I am currently up at um, 950 feet on uh, Dodd Crag. The sun's slowly burning through the early morning mist there. And I think it's going to be a red hot day. So you'll probably see me sort of sweating a bit and looking uh, red faced and, and generally worn out. Um, I'm currently looking over the uh, Withup Valley which is a small secluded valley which basically if you didn't know was here you probably wouldn't know was here. It's a rather interesting valley uh, geographically and that whilst you would expect it to slope uh, downwards towards uh, Bassenford Lake at the end there, it, it doesn't, it actually slopes up towards it. So I'm just having a, a brief rest now and then I'll uh, carry on up to the top. See you shortly. And here we are, the top of Sail Fell, 1,170 feet above sea level. There's no fancy cairn or twig point to mark the top, just a small patch of rock which you can see just behind me there. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit of a haze, so the views are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but uh, not spectacular. But uh, yeah. Another win right done. Short rest, I think. Then we'll head on. So I've come um, slightly to the north of the summit now, and um, from here I've got a nice view down onto the top end of uh, Bassenthwaite Lake. And beyond it, uh, my old pal from last week, Binzi. Off to my right slightly we can see a uh, Skidore which has got a slight hat of cloud on it at the moment and uh, beyond that down you can just make out Keswick, Walla Crag, Helvellyn Range beyond that but all very hazy no real photographic opportunities up here today so it's just uh, just the walk I guess um, but yeah Bit of bird song there in the background. The uh, gentle rustle of cars on the A66. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, just uh, tranquility. Very nice.
Right, well I've come down to the subsidiary summit of uh, Rivings and found that it's actually got a much nicer cairn than the summit itself. Which doesn't seem fair. But there you go. I'm going to head a bit further east along the fell there and hopefully get a nice view down onto, uh, onto the lake. And then from there, probably swing down the side of the fell, uh, head back to the car, and then uh, head out for fell number two. So now I'm at the um, final summit of uh, Sailfell for the day, uh, called Lothet. It's got a nice view down onto uh, Bass and Thwaite Lake there, or Bass Lake, as the locals call it. Across we can see uh, Skador rising up uh, into the cloud. Dodd on its right hand side, and then Keswick and Dew and Water over in the distance. Still hazy. Very warm. Over to my right, that's um, Lord Seat rising up there. And the, the watershed that we can see uh, coming down from there to uh, where the woods start. Uh, there is actually two, two becks coming down there. The one on the right hand side is Withup Beck. And the one on the left hand side, just a couple hundred yards from it, is Beck Withup. And the difference between the two is that Beck Withup drains directly into Bass and Thwaite Lake there, whereas with the Beck drops down through the valley behind me um, and then does a, a full semicircular tour back to the top end of the lake. So they begin hundreds of yards apart, take two completely different journeys to their destination. Quite interesting. Right, so that's me uh, back at the car. Got myself a lovely tan, which was uh, which was nice. Just um, checking the weather, and we currently have yellow warning for thunderstorms approaching in the next hour or two. So I think uh, it's probably best to uh, scrap Lingfell for this afternoon. I'd hate to get up there and then get caught in a storm because I haven't really. Uh, got the right gear with me for that sort of uh, weather and also it's knee fun so um, I think I'm going to call it a day there so thank you very much for joining me on my trip over Sailfell and um, who knows if the weather's nice next week I might get up to do Lingfell then or somewhere else anyway till then take care and I'll see you soon